Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the Signal Studio N7624B software's basic capabilities to create and customize LTE waveforms to characterize the modulation performance of your components and transmitters. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a user-defined 5 MHz LTE FTD signal with three downlink shade transport channels using this software. So let's get started. First, I'm going to set some of the basic uh, parameters for the vector signal generator in the form of uh, the frequency of the carrier. I'm going to set it at 2.14 gigahertz and an amplitude of say minus 5 dBm. Next, I'm going to edit the default downlink shade transport channel configuration. As you can see, the default setup that we have is for a basic LTE FTD release 9 downlink with the fully filled QPSK 5 MHz 25 resource blocks. Next, we are going to edit the default downlink shade transport channel. For that, I'm going to go into the transport channel section on the left hand side under downlink and I'm going to click on the DL SCH configuration to access a dialog and set the subframe number, the modulation type and resource block uh, to uh, a setting of my uh, liking. So in this case I'm going to choose a subframe number uh, range of 0 to 2 with a modulation type of QPSK and a resource block range of 0 to 5 and, and as soon as I do that, I can now see in my resource mapping that uh, this section of the resource uh, mapping has been set up for this particular downlink shade channel that I've just created. I'm going to add a couple more of these downlink shade channels uh, to occupy different uh, places of the resource mapping. So let me add the first one. Um, this will be the second uh, downlink shade channel and this time I'm going to select a subframe uh, range of uh, 4 to 6 and uh, let me select a QPS uh, a 16 gram um, as for the modulation type and the resource block selection 18 to 23 and uh, now we can see how uh, we have updated the resource mapping to include the second uh, downlink shade channel occupying this section of the resource mapping. I'm going to add one more downlink shade channel and this time I'm going to select subframe um, range of eight, 6 to 8 and modulation type of 16 gram and this time the resource block selection of 2 to 7. So we have created two downlink shade channels and they are spread across uh, multiple uh, physical downlink shade channels and you can look at the configuration of the physical channels by clicking on the physical channel on the left hand side and going down and looking at uh, the different physical downlink shade channels that, that have been assigned for these uh, different uh, uh, downlink uh, shade uh, channels, the transport channels uh, across uh, different resource blocks uh, and uh, that's it. So now we have created a, a user-defined um, 5 megahertz LTE FTD signal with three downlink shade transport channels and uh, um, you can also use uh, this particular button here to check if there are any errors with uh, with our configuration, say for example, if uh, we had created uh, this particular uh, downlink shade channel to kind of uh, overlap the first one, um, uh, this would have thrown an error, and um, you could do the error checking by clicking on this button, and and on the right hand side in the status, you will be able to see in the status window, you will be able to see any errors that may have uh, been created because of that. Uh, uh, violation. 
Um, so with that all set up, now we can generate the waveform by clicking on the generate button. And uh, then subsequently you can click on this button here to uh, download the waveform to a vector signal generator, one of the supported vector signal generators such as the MXG. So uh, that's it and um, uh, hopefully this is helpful and thanks for watching.